Hi everyone, Monique here. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you Hourglass's newest blushes. These are the Unreal Liquid Blushes. I also picked up the suggested brush, the number 15. I'm gonna share details of everything. We're gonna swatch everything. And yes, I've got some comparisons for you as well. So let's hydrate and begin. The Hourglass Unreal Liquid Blushes. There are a total of seven shades. I picked up three. They retail for $36 each. They are said to be liquid blushes that visibly plump and hydrate, delivering unreal, buildable color for a natural finish that stays in place for up to 12 hours. These blushes contain hyaluronic acid, which is a hydrating property, so it's gonna help the skin stay plump and supple. Now they are also infused with Hourglass's Unreal Lifting Complex, and that's a serum-like formula that instantly hydrates to visibly firm and lift your cheeks with color for all day, weightless wear. Here are the three shades that I picked up. Future, whim and moment this is a product that you would shake well open up it does have a locking mechanism on the cap let me see if you can hear it so it locks into place keep your product secure and look at the little tip it's really cute hourglass says all we need to do is shake press and blend so you would shake your product there is a little button underneath you press it is controlled. You're not going to press it and a ton of product comes out. And then you blend. Very lightweight texture and consistency. And this is the shade Future. Next up is Whim. So we're going to shake. We're going to press. And blend. moment we're going to shake press and blend future whim and moment let's talk about the number 15 blush brush this is an angled stippling brush featuring vegan fiber technology and custom bristles for effortless blush application. For application of the blushes, I'm going to be sharing swatches of them on bare skin with you first initially, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my normal base makeup routine and then go over top because I'd like to see and share how these apply with our normal go-to products and just to see how they build or blend and if they disturb any of our other products just to share all the details, as many details with you as possible. Now, Hourglass says that you can apply these with the brush. This one is suggested Use whatever brush you like. But they say that you can apply these with brush or fingers. So we're gonna try both. So let's start off with Whim. So Whim is described as a bright pink. So we're gonna shake, we're gonna press, and then we'll blend. So with the number 15 brush, I'm going to pick up the product off of the back of my hand. And let's apply. This is melting right into the skin. Very pretty. Now this is more of a stippling brush, so I like that it's gonna diffuse your product, but you're still gonna get your deposit of color and your pigmentation, but it's blending it in very nicely. So this is our first layer. Let's build. So I'm going to shake, press, and I'm going to pick up. Such a pretty color, right? I went with these colors because I wanted one color that would be nice for every day, one that's a little more bold, and then a fun one. <laughs> so let's build. Pretty. Very pretty. Mm. 
I'm going to get super close so that you can see it just right into the skin. That's nice. I'm going to go in with hand application. Let's try that out on this side. We're going to use that same color whim so we can compare. So we do one drop. I'm going to pick it up. Ooh, an eyelash. This is that type of product that it's so light and easy and it doesn't feel like anything that you can just do it on those no makeup days where you do a little bit of concealer, do a little bit of this, and that's it. Just for a little color on your skin. Look how nicely that blended in. Nice and soft. I have some more on my hand. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to pick it up and let's build it up on the hair with the hand side. Yes, we build very nicely. Okay. I know not everybody likes to use their hands for their makeup application, but for those of us who do and don't mind, it's nice to see and share how everything works and looks. The hand side is definitely a lot more natural and soft. Brush side, she's looking a little bit more intense because we did build it up. And then the hand side is looking oh so natural. <laughs> Let's try out the shade Future. So we're gonna shake, press. I have to say it again, whenever you go in to press, it doesn't just squirt out, it gives you that one drop. So it's not a product I feel is gonna be too messy. If anything, the only thing I would worry about is the actual tip. See the tip, it gets like a little tiny bit messy, but even then it's not a big deal, you clean it off. So future, let's pick her up with the brush. And I am cleaning off the brush in between. I really like that with these colors, it's not too much too quickly. So if you're not too great at applying your blush or sometimes you feel that your blush gets, it's too intense, this is gonna be a nice product to start off lightly and build up to your desired intensity. Or I get carried away with blush all the time. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> That's a pretty color. That's a very pretty color. Nice and soft. Let's go in and build her up. Look at that color. That color is really pretty too. And she builds beautifully. <laughs> I honestly feel that if you don't like using your hands, your first layer with the brush is going to look similar. You know, that super soft diffused application, but I like the brush. I like the hands too, but I like the brush. I think it applies really nicely. Just melts into the skin and it's so lightweight. So that's future. Let's go in with the shade Moment. I want this shade in my head when I was picking it out. I said, this is gonna be my everyday, easy, no makeup, makeup color. So let's see. <laughs> so let's shake. Press. And blend. Look at that color. So soft and pretty. Yes. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. A soft, little flush of color. Gorgeous. So one soft application of moment. Let's build her up.
even as it's building, it's still a nice soft color. It's a bit similar to Future on this side, but just a little, little more toned down, just a little bit. The Future shade is a little more orange, just a little. I like the finish on the skin too. Very lightweight, beautiful finish, super natural. It's just melding into the skin. But now this is bare skin. So let's see how it goes when we put on base makeup, how it goes over top. Moment and future. Let's see how this blush applies over my go-to makeup products. Let's see how they play. And then we'll do some comparisons. So base makeup has been applied. Everything I use, I'm gonna list and link down below in the description box for you. You know, all the details, all the things, if you're curious, everything's down there. Um, for this look, let's do two different extremes. Let's go pink and build it up, and then let's go that natural, soft, kind of easy, everyday kind of color, and let's see. Because we need to know, how does this apply over top of our regular products? To note, this is what I always do and I always suggest it to you. Whenever you're setting your makeup, always do a light dusting of powder for two reasons. You can go over top with creams, no problem. And light layers are key so your makeup doesn't look cakey. I use the Hourglass Veil Powder, this one. I'm gonna start off with Moment. This is the lighter, softer of the two. You know what, let's try two drops. That way, well, one and a half. And let's see how that goes. So I've got about one and a half drops on the back of my hand. I'm going to pick up. Yeah, I like that. And apply. Let's get closer so you can see how it goes on top of our other products. Pretty. Just picking up whatever's left on the back of the hand. I'm not going in with any more. I intentionally want to do two extremes. More built up and more soft and pretty everyday kind of soft vibe. Let's see. All right, so that's the shade moment. Again, intentionally soft, easy, no fuss. Now for the other side, we're gonna go in with whim. I'm gonna do the same thing, a drop and a half. Drop and a half of whim. Let's see 
And if we want to build, we will. But I'm going to start with a drop and a half. It's going over top very nicely. I like that it's not interrupting any of my already applied products. It's just looking good. <laughs> I'm going to go in with whatever's left on the back of my hand. I don't feel the need to go into another drop, so I'm just going to pick up whatever's left on the back of my hand. A little touch on the nose. Okay, not bad, looking pretty. I like it. I really also enjoy how the skin still looks like skin, although we've got makeup on. And I mean, it helps certain products that I'm using are very skin focused, but the blush over top looks really pretty. This is my powder brush. I haven't gone in with any product, but I, what I am gonna do is just lightly touch the areas that I applied the blush, because whatever's left powder wise is gonna like just soften it and set it lightly. I'm very keen on light layers because I don't ever want to feel heavy and cakey. Those are just some of my little tricks that I do. And this is what I would do. Realistic, real life type of stuff. Okay. I want to be able to share things that you too can do, not just watch it and be entertained. Whim and moment. Let's go over top with highlight, because that's what I would do. I'm going to go in with this one from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade Baby. I'm going to pick up the cream shade with my sponge. I have been loving this highlight. Before I was kind of stuck using the same one, this one from Tom Ford. Still love it, still reach for it, but, you know, since I've gotten this new one here from... Patrick Ta, I've been loving it so much. Where is my blush? Hello? So I do go in with the cream and then I go over top with the powder. I just love the glow, I'm sorry. I cannot not have lots of glow. But this glow, it's just like a skin glow, like you're just a dewy skin, mm, juicy. <laughs> so here we are, nice and close. Let me show you what everything looks like on the skin. Very skin, very comfortable. This is going to be a go-to easy type of product. I can just tell you that right now. I will do a pin comment on how it wears because it did claim to have 12 hours of wear and I love that because <laughs> blush, you know, is usually the first thing to fade. But they've come a long way with longevity on blushes, so we'll see. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Let's get into some comparisons and then I'll share my final thoughts. I feel I've got some really good comparisons. So I did some little swatch reminders here. Moment, whim, and future. This is the Vive Sunset Blush Balm. This is a luminous liquid blush. And this is in the shade Piazza. The shade Moment came to mind because this shade I like using this on my no makeup days with my hands. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> Texture and consistency is definitely different. This is more like a gel in texture, and it is a bit darker. I'm gonna swatch it right here beside Moment. The Vive is definitely darker, but <laughs> once it's like blended out, it does kind of give that same soft, little flush to the skin, but totally different textures and color. So there's that. Anastasia just came out with liquid blushes or cream serum like blushes. This is called the Blurring Serum Blush. I have it in the shade Peach. Let's see how this compares. Here it is before I blend it. It's said to be a serum. I... It doesn't really feel like a serum. It more feels like a gel. But there it is blended out. Again, that's the shade Peach. The swatch of Peach is very similar to Whim. So there's that. I pulled two of my Chantecai liquid blushes. These are called the Cheek Gelée. They're hydrating gel blushes. 
cream, gel to cream blushes. That's what they are described as. So I have two shades. Vibrant. Let's swatch Vibrant. And these are truly a gel formula. So Vibrant. And I think this shade was limited edition. This is a static. Definitely different than the Hourglass. So here is Vibrant. It's very bold and vibrant, as it sounds, and then Aesthetic. I want to say of the two, Aesthetic is a little similar to Whim. I would categorize it as similar to that shade, uh, of the two. Next up I have a Valentino. I love this so much. This is another one of my everyday kind of no makeup, just a little flush of color, super easy. This one, it's a bit of like a moussey type of texture. These are called the Liquioso. Liquios, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'll get it. Now this doubles as lip product as well. So let's see. I clearly have a type <laughs> with my colors, don't I? I don't know, I feel like it's like a little cross between these two from Hourglass, Whim and Future. Texture is completely different. It's still very lightweight and I love this texture. I reach for this a ton because it's that moussey, just blends into the skin, super beautiful. But yeah. Now, I saved the best for last. Yes, I did. I have three rare beauties to share with you. So I'm gonna remove these, but I wanna show them to you one last time. So this is the Vive. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Serum, uh, Blurring Serum Blush. These two are from Chantecaille. We have Vibrant, which is the brighter one, and then Aesthetic, and then the Valentino. Okay, three shades of rare beauty. Incredible, how did I do that? <gasps> I clearly have a type. So I clearly have a type. Look how similar the shades are. But you can see based on the swatches how different their texture and consistency is. You can see that the hourglass is a lot thinner, true serum. The rare consistency, it too is a thinner gel-like consistency very similar but you can see the hourglass is definitely more thin and sheer these are pigmented like super pigmented but ah uh, the colors wow wow so we've got virtue happy and worth from rare and we've got future whim and moment from hourglass incredible i don't know how i did it but I always do. The similarities, leave it to me to just always be attracted to the same type of colors. <laughs> so let's talk about it. First of all, comparison wise, yes, we're gonna have colors that are similar. Okay, but if we were to compare consistency, texture, feel, application, these are different, they're in a league of their own. I love the packaging, I really do. I think it's innovative, I think it's cute, I think it's fun. And I do like that it's quite easy to clean. So look, I just wipe off the top, lock when I turn, and that's it. I do like the little push button where I can control how much I'm getting and it's easy, nice. I like the way these blend on the skin. I love that I can go in with one light application for my everyday soft kind of gig, or I can build it up. We love our options, we love our versatility, we love our multifunctional products, and these are that. Really great for that. I'm having a good first impression with the products. I love the way they feel, I love the way they look. I like the colors that I got. Clearly I have a type and these are them. <laughs> I think the color variety and the selection that Hourglass has is really beautiful and it's realistic, it's practical. These are products that you'll want to reach for in your routine. These are real life, real wearing, easy type of products. I can't talk about longevity yet. It's only been give or take an hour. Um, but so far I really like how they look and feel. But let me know what you guys think, comment down below. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.